Hey y'all, happy new year's, 2011 already. Well, what I'm going to be talking about, about 2011 is, I'm just going to list a, a lot of things that I'm hoping that people will have the same interest in and hopefully have some people, some common sense come together and make some sense of a lot of dumb, stupid nonsense at the moment. So give me a moment as I prepare myself. To get in my realm. Give me a moment. Okay. So far, these are the activities um locally that I'm going to be first speaking of. One of the main things I tried to do last year was really hopefully work at the, through the school district and incorporating, incorporating a different style of teaching and also incorporating measures to make sure that when children are out of high school, they are guaranteed to be in a position of transition. Now, I've had met up directly with the school district of Philadelphia to talk about things like this and also with various people who are in seats who help tell where y'all money goes with my concerns about the school district. Okay, my biggest concern about the school district is y'all ain't teaching the kids shit. Not a goddamn thing, not anything that is useful that will be something they're going to use after they get out of school. If let me put it to you this way, and I'm gonna probably repeat this during the, this segment. The whole definition of insanity is to do the same thing and think you're gonna get a different result from doing the same thing over and over and over again. In our urban cities. Our school district has the kids on a curriculum that prepares them for a standardized test every year. And I believe they get this test twice a year or so. But they have to pass this standardized test. Kind of reminds me of Leo and Lean on Me when they were so focused on the test. But the difference with Lean on Me is that was a trifling ass school where it was at the bottom. So that's all they had to look forward to was passing a test. <coughs> what bothers me is this is the curriculum of our regular schools trying to get the kids just to pass a test all year that's it that's what their school work is inspired to pass the test the test that don't mean shit for the rest of your life just to make sure that this school don't get closed down and say the teachers are teaching y'all something they're teaching y'all how to pass the test yeah that is brilliant oh that's really no child left behind huh bush no, all you did was try to encourage teachers to make kids more stupid by not now allowing them to have a creative curriculum and being able to have the material and the things they need for the curriculum. You know what I mean? Instead of spending them millions of dollars in like things like fake ass wars and you know what I mean, fake ass drug wars and fake ass and fake ass shit, it could have been used on you know what I mean something like actually teaching the kids something past one plus one. Because in my home, I have definitely any child that's around me, I teach you. I'll teach you science. I'll teach you math. I'll teach you studies and literature and histories and science. And the thing is, I don't spend billions of dollars. I don't even spend a couple of dollars to do so. So I can do this with children. Why is it so-called costing y'all so much to do so? A lot of things that could be taught within science and math and stuff like that are hands-on things that are taught every day. Stuff that my tribe and other tribes around the freaking world ha and other people have been taught before y'all had to make it so technological. Excuse me, I'm trying to pronounce. But these things are not expensive, but y'all make them expensive. Y'all make everything too much and too impossible to grab and things like that. wonder why. Basic learning is too much to put into into our children. 
learning fundamentals about understanding their place in life, their place in, on this earth, their involvement, and their cause and effects and actions and things they can do with their physical being and outside their physical being. Y'all don't want to teach that. That's what I have a problem with the school district. So what I'm talking about with the school district is I didn't like the fact that, but I liked it, that there are teachers in like Montgomery County that can have kids come to school. They have to pick the occupations, um, occupation. They have to pick, uh, um, after they pick an occupation, they have to look at the bills, gas, electric, things like that, groceries, necessities for the house, rent. They have to find a house. And these are things that they're doing in the school in Montgomery County, right? Then after that, these kids have to be able to, um, balance your budget, understand checking, savings, things like that. And they're in first grade. How about that? And how about I've done taught them to high school children that don't have no op- knowledge. This is foreign knowledge to them. Something that simplistic that you can teach a first grader and something that will be utilized for the rest of their lives after they completed school. And it's something they're not teaching in regular school because they're teaching how to teach your kids multiplication in 20 different ways even though the answer is still going to come the same and if you do just one of the ways it's going to work every freaking time anyway but no they want to teach them about modes this that and the third change the whole vocabulary confuse these daggone kids for the same thing that would have came out to the same answer by putting a little x and this is what they're doing with your kids so for my first message of knocking out stupidity it starts in the education system we need to really look at these curriculum and see if this is what is going to be useful for our children because it's not it's bullshit and i'm so disappointed in the way the school districts are handling our children and how much they like and guess what talking about well let the parents teach guess what half of your kids ain't got no parents so what are you going to do about that? Yeah, then it really becomes your fault. Because some of these kids don't got parents, and if they do, their parents are already on something. So no matter what, the child has no guidance, so it's still our freaking responsibility because they can't do it by themselves. But we did forget about our tribal beliefs and, and grabbing each and every ch- child and keeping them up under us and making sure each and every child is um, obtained for it. We forgot our tribal practices and our beliefs and things that we did to be this Americanized society where we don't give a fuck about nobody by ourselves. And don't even give a fuck about ourselves by the way we treat things around us. Show how much we give even a fuck about ourselves. Environment is the next problem I'm having a problem getting through to people's head. Now that we're a Republican state of Pennsylvania, it used to be very democratic, easier to talk to people when it came to things like the econ- um, ecosystem. And how much, you know, when you do certain things, there's going to be effect for certain things. We have drills in upper PA that I want to eliminate. I'm tired of y'all drilling up my mother earth. Y'all putting needles in her skin and sucking her oils from her skin and expecting her to be able to laugh. Sensibly, you're bleeding her, sucking her blood dry. And she's supposed to be there for you tomorrow. For the, and so she's worth them couple of dollars that you got today. That's what it was. It was that deep, them couple of dollars, the thing that you flip and burn and things like that that don't really even mean shit or that temporary time of heat to destroy something that would keep you forever and ever and ever if you treat it right and if you balance with the cycle. What the hell is that? But no, that's not how we do things in America. No, America, the... The land of opportunity, opportunity to grab and hold on things and forget that the fucking thing is freaking alive. Forget that everything that has energy is considered a life source. And if it can make new life, if something can grow from it and come from it, it must have been a fucking life in the first place. And something alive actually has an internal energy which we call in our human body soul. So if we got that internal energy within us, we're not alone. Everything has an internal energy, an internal power source. And we came from this earth, and that's why we have the same one she does. 
And that's why we're all fucked up because we're fucking her up. I want y'all to stop pouring core exit 9500 in our golf and in my PA river streams and our mountain ranges and stuff like that with them trills. First of all, the first lesson in not overpopulating is being smart enough to understand that sex is not one just for fucking procreation and to distinguish the things about pure sexuality and what it is and how much to stop denying human nature, which is something we continue to do to try to find somebody from their free will. Who I'm going to go into that real soon. But with y'all trying to depopulate by pouring this core exit all over the place and having places where, you know, it's so barren where y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want. I'm trying to understand how that makes sense to kill off life. Y'all not understanding that y'all changing the ecosystem and making other things overpopulate to the waters and everything. There's a documentary now talking about the jellyfish. People like jellyfish, what? Do you know jellyfish will kill everything in freaking sight because of this poison? And if it's all around the coast and now there's such an outbreak where fishermen are pulling up freaking tons of jellyfish instead of fish because the water's so bad and the fish they're getting in is poisoned already, that's our food supply. We're not thinking about that. We're not thinking 